Hello everybody. Welcome back to the channel you love to hate and hate to love. <laughs> Got that off a of soap opera. So, uh, welcome back to the Klaus Restoration Crafts and Reviews channel. Sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't. And today we're going to see a review on a battery powered lithium ion battery, 18 volt. I'm giving it all away before you can watch the video. Cock gun. C A U L K, not cock. Cock. There's a difference. A cock gun. Brother, you better watch your mouth over there, what you saying. I just say cock. Anyway. Everybody should buy one of these. Man, these things are handy. They do a fast job. They got speed control. They got a release to when you let off the trigger so your stuff won't ooze out. Ooze out. Man, that sounds disgusting. Who wants anything that oozes out? Sounds like a bad pimple when you're a teenager in high school. Yuck. Here it is, but it stops it from oozing. Yeah, it does. So if you're in the mood for one of these uh, cock guns, then uh, watch the video, find out all about it, find out what it can do, what it can't do, and you may enjoy it. Then you may buy you one and make your cocking jobs a whole lot easier. Now, time for what you've been waiting for, or maybe not, but you're going to hear it anyway, a joke. And here it is. Your mama is so stupid. It takes her two hours to watch the TV show 60 Minutes. <laughs> Man, that's one stupid mother, all right. It only took me a one hour and a half to watch 60 Minutes. <laughs> so one hour and a half to watch 60 Minutes, you must be related to that mama. Well, anyway, hope you enjoy the show. Sit back, relax. Get you a cold Coca-Cola, a bag of chips, and have fun. And just sit back and melt like a marshmallow. You'll be so relaxed watching this video. And I'll see you, I'll see you next time on the Klaus Restoration. I see, forgot it again. Klaus Restoration Crafts and Reviews channel. Goodbye, people. Woo! So today I'm going to do a uh, short review on this uh, battery powered cock gun from Makita. As you can tell by looking at it, it's got some, uh, it's not new. A lot of the tools that I do a review on, I try to review them after they've been used. Sometimes I review some straight out of the box, sometimes I'll wait. And this one's got a couple years on it. This here screws off so you can remove it. I would screw it off, but uh, why? You can, I just told you it comes off. It, it uses a uh, standard, I can't even get it off. It uses a standard uh, tube of caulk. So here it is with this off. Now the reason this comes off is so you can use a bigger one of these on here because some of the caulk like these here these are standard tubes but you can also get bigger tubes of caulk and you can uh, replace this and also if this breaks then you can replace it to put it on you just unscrew this here some a little bit put it in here this also can be rotated you screw it in like this and you can also rotate this 
to be a part of the so when you're caulking you can turn the caulk gun in different directions so screw it on good flip it back around and this is what it looks like now the Makita that we'll be talking about today the Makita caulk gun is the 57084 DCG 180 18 volt so if you have other Makita tools that uses the 18 volt battery then you don't have to buy battery you can get this tool the, these here for some reason are not cheap battery slides right off by pushing this button and it slides right on locks into place also has a light and when you let go of the trigger it has a release so a lot of caulk still won't come pouring out of the tube and as I was beginning to say these are not cheap this cost around this one here cost me around two hundred dollars plus but they're worth it has a speed dial on it and a battery low indicator but these uh, are really worth it because it's better than triggering caulk out and running it down the normal way when it's like this room here when you have a whole lot to do now the other standard caulk guns fine if you have very little to do but if you're doing a lot then you should invest in something like this and you uh, may say well I don't do that much caulking well someday you may run into a big job and you're gonna be glad you do have something like this the plunger here pushes in and out it's made out of metal the end of it is plastic so when you get your caulk this one is almost empty already I've been using it when you get your caulk you just cut it cut the end at an angle mark the top so you know where the slanty parts at pull this all the way back put this in place push that forward the next step is simply pulling the trigger and moving and always have an old rag handy because there's always going to be some of this getting somewhere where you don't want it now we're going to go over to the wall Wait, what are you doing? and I'm going to cock the wall see how this here my mark is toward the pointy end so that tells me to put the it's right here this black line so that tells me that I don't put the gun like this that tells me I don't put the cock tube like this because the cock will be squirting out the back it tells me that I put it like this so it will be flush with the wall that way you can uh, get it up under things where you need it and here we go just run with it as fast as you need to run slow down and bigger gaps speed back up run it and because the wall is so long I had to stop and you heard the the noise it makes when it pulls back so nothing runs out the end but sometimes you're going to hit a place that's not really got a big hole or anything in it you're going to have some backup that's normal just wipe it off just keep going see like there I hit up on the top that's fine and they also make caulking tools where you can run it through here and pretty that up real nice and pretty I actually have some of those tools but the reason I'm not using them is because this dries really clear and there's some pretty big gaps in here I don't want I just want to just push it up there like I said it dries clear and just uh, leave it like that because if I go raking around on it with those tools with it like this here is a really big gap it may disrupt that gap then let's we'll just have to recock some of that but if you don't like the look you can always smooth it either with your finger clean it up or like I said with the tools but because of the area I'm working in the ceiling's not even painted yet but it will be so this is the way I'm doing it right now this stuff will just yank right off later on if you want to pretty it up even more so that has been the demonstration of uh, the Makita D 
CG 180 cordless caulking gun battery powered 18 volt so if you think that this is something that might help you in your work as a carpenter or a DIY around the house or anything or maybe you're an older man or an older woman you have arthritis then this is the way to go but this does have some weight on it it's kind of heavy so you have to think so you have to think also about the weight of this but a standard caulk gun that you just have to constantly pull and fight with and everything so if i did this with a regular caulk gun that took what five seconds if i did that with a regular caulk gun it would took probably 30 35 40 seconds i mean you can really you get the mojo on this thing and get it going get your work done get it finished so uh thanks for watching this uh demonstration on the makita battery powered caulk gun and i'll see you next time on the klaus restoration crafts and reviews channel.